Oh yeah, a bridge is um, not giving them time to, to set up what... That definitely needs to back up and just get a stronghold. They only have five minutes uh, left to hold and then we will be forced to yeah. round three Gullywash man. Yeah, we will like see. Daze it looks like they... Yeah. Bomb. That is getting in very quickly. They're not giving a bridge the time to, to push him out. These are definitely two brick walls being slammed into each other, and all we can Dreamers really do is figure out which has stronger base. And he does end up getting out to you, but he goes down to Randego. Paji ends up picking up the Pyro frontline bait. Skeptic just coming out of spawn now. Days so coming on the sentry. A little more free time. Misa trying Exile to get an aggressive sentry, but yeah. Yeah, they're de Red is definitely sure be playing a bit more aggressive on uh, this. Hoy are taking a 1v1 right now. In which uh, the pyro or that comes and helps out. Seiki gets a power jack kill on a scout, proving that you can be faster than the fastest class in this game. Pachi gets a kill on Dreamer, the the blue soldier, and now Red is just establishing that it is their home around this payload, and they're not going to let anybody uh, push him. Dago and Exile are getting pretty uh, aggressive. Yeah, one, one bad jump, in, and uh, to find this can very well kill the medic. He sees Pachi, gotta play he misses careful. the shot though. Pachi is on top of Grage. Alright, they do have an NG and Dreamer and Skeptic, Scout and so Pachi is wreaking havoc. Yeah, it's very evident that He can that see these... through those Grage windows, he is in a very good position right now. It's very evident that the snipers take a lot of uh, pretense on this map, and he ends up getting channel. the demo too as he's being blown away. Blue uses in. It looks like they're going to try and take out the sentry. And There's an Uber exchange up on this take upper end. Away. Blue, kit, blue is lost pretty much all of their power classes. All that's left is a couple of their flank, and they don't have the the capacity to push this point. All red can do is hold it, and blue get it back together. They really need to start focusing Padre, Paji. He is now on a 10 kill streak. Skeptic tries to Paji come and he goes down. Out Skeptic once again. Paji is holding this roof like no other, and it looks like Blue Team knows it, but they just can't get in position to take Paji out. You've got Tickler and uh, Cat Specs going over here to the left side trying to take control of it. See, the problem is, is that Paji just has that whole sight line from main covered, and anything that walks out is afraid to get sniper headshots, so they can't really make their way to the right yeah. side to try and force them out. But it does look like Blue is trying to make their way out, but Paji Paji's takes down Paji. Paji's killing the heavy. If you jump into Paji's point of view, you can notice that he can see virtually the entire battlefield. All he has to do is yeah, pick a target and take it out. Yeah, he just rotated to the uh, cart now, and he picked off the scout. It's really That's important that, two minutes that Blue now. actually takes out Pachi, but they just can't get in position to actually get a kill on him. That's two minutes now with uh, the a bridge has. It may very well go points. into uh, the third. Daze is going to try and take out Pachi. It looks like he's going behind check to Ambassador Pachi. Knocks him oh! off the roof and he, cl and he craters on the ground. That's going to give Blue an opportunity to push. This is just a question now if uh, Paddy's team can hold out while he's down and he can establish that roof hold again.